Hi guys, I'm Sam with Complete Coding. In this video, I'm gonna show you an incredibly powerful tool that can help boost your coding productivity. If you like this video and you want to get more tips on how to become a better programmer, then make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get a notification every time we upload a new video. Everyone wants to create more code with less keystrokes. Some people have even created complete languages just to reduce the number of keystrokes they have to make. I'm gonna show you how you can use VS Code snippets to create massive functions using just a few keystrokes. For years, people have had snippets, which are just chunks of code, and they've saved them in files and copied and pasted them whenever they've needed them. That was good, but when you've got a single line, it's often more effort to find that code, copy it and paste it, than it is just to type it out. Then along came software such as Auto Hotkeys and Text Expander. These are really good because they detect what you're typing. So if you type a sh special shortcut, it will paste in that line. That's really good because it means that small lines now become viable. The next step is VS Code and I'm gonna show you just how to do that now. Over in VS Code, we're gonna make our first snippet. Our snippet is going to be pasting in this function right here. To configure our first snippet, we can go up to the top, select Code and Preferences, and then go down to User Snippets. If you're working on Windows or on Linux, then it will be File, Preferences and User Snippets. Clicking that opens up a menu where we can select the language that we want to configure. We're going to be going with JavaScript for this one. In this file, you'll have some comments at the top which demonstrate how to make a basic snippet, but we'll be creating our own. The first thing to do is to create the key for this snippet. This should be a unique description of what the snippet is going to do. In this case, it's going to be inserting the handle function. And that is an object. And inside that object, we have a prefix. We also have a body. And finally, we have a description. The prefix is the text that we want to type to trigger this snippet. We don't want to use something that is exactly the same as the function name, as it's going to get rather confusing. So we're going to modify it slightly. For this one, I'm going to use prom handle. So every time I type prom handle and select that from the IntelliSense, it's going to paste in this snippet. The body is actually going to be an array of strings. These strings are going to be whatever you want to get pasted in the snippet. So what we can do is go back onto the demo.js and I'm going to select all of this and paste it inside the string. So now whenever we type prom handle and select that, this is going to paste the whole of this function. The description is going to be used when you're looking through the intelligent sense options. It's going to give you a little bit more information about what this snippet does. When you've got lots and lots of snippets, sometimes it can get a bit confusing based on which snippet does what functionality. So this, is, this becomes really useful. Again, I'm just going to use the same thing as I've used for the key. So I'm going to copy that and paste it in here. Now when we save this function, we can go back to our demo.js. This is just an example folder file. When I start to type prom, down here I get the option for prom handle. It tells me that it's going to be inserting a handle function. It's a user snippet and it gives us most of the first line. 
To trigger the snippet, I can now press tab or enter and we paste in the whole of our snippet. Now that you know how to create your own snippets, you can create them for whichever functions or bits of code that you want. You can use these to save yourself loads of typing, but that's not all. There are more powerful features that we can use using VS Code snippets. When you insert a snippet, there are often bits of information that you want to add in, such as a function name, or in this case, the variables that you're passing in. In this case, we want to change the message and the user ID, depending on what point in the flow we are. To do this in old snippets, you'd have to just paste in the snippet and then use your cursor or use the keys to move across to the location and type it in. But with VS Code, we can do something much better. We can use tab insert points. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this snippet and go back into our snippet editor. As you can see, I've created a new snippet template. It's called send message to a user and has a prefix of send message. The important bit for us is gonna be in the body. To start with, I'm just gonna paste in the function that we had in the other file. Now we want to be able to change the hi there and the user ID to be whatever we want when we paste it in. To do this, we can change hi there to be dollar sign one. This means that the cursor will be automatically moved to this point when we paste in the snippet, which is really useful. Once we've entered a message, we want then to move across to the user ID section. Instead of having to use the arrow keys or use your cursor, we can change this bit of text here to be dollar sign two. So that means that we can just tab to the user ID once we've finished with our message. If we save this file now and go back into our demo folder, we can type send message. And as you can see, it says that we can send a message to the user. I'm just gonna hit tab. And as you can see, we're already in the messages. So I can add a little message in here saying, hi, made using a snippet. And then instead of having to use the arrow keys, I can just press tab and I moved straight to the user ID section. You can do this for as many tab spaces as you want, just increasing the dollar sign number. So in here, I'm just gonna go one, two, three, dash one, two, three, dash one, two, three. And then if you hit tab one more time, it moves right the way to the end. Using these tab insert points obviously saves a little bit of time using a one liner like this. Where it's really powerful is where you've got a 30 line snippet and you've got five different insert points that you want to be able to change quickly and easily and move between them. In this case, you can save yourself a lot of time, especially when you're reusing these snippets again and again and again. Another advantage of VS Code snippets over most other snippet engines is that they are language specific. At the start, where we selected our user snippets and then chose a language, hence the javascript.json snippets file, that just means that all of these snippets in this file are locked down so they only work when you're editing a JavaScript file. We can test this because we can go into demo.html and we can try to handle a promise. So normally, prom would prompt us to have that prom handle snippet, but obviously that isn't working in here. We can try with send message. Neither of those are working. This is really useful because it allows you to have different functions in different languages and each of them will do a different snippet. So you could even have the same prefix when you're in different folders triggering completely different snippets. Obviously this is useful because a function in JavaScript is very different to a function in any other language. 
Thanks for watching this video on how you can improve your productivity using VS Code snippets. If you've enjoyed this, make sure to give it a like. If you think you've learned something, make sure to subscribe hitting the button just down here and make sure to hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we upload a new educational video. If you've liked this, you might also like this video just here. And thank you for watching and I'll definitely see you next time.